The aim with this video is that you should learn how to find any number, for example 3.14, in a logarithmic diagram. To accomplish that, we will build on what you already know about linear diagrams and look at the difference between a linear diagram and a logarithmic diagram. I will assume that you already know that in a linear diagram you find 50 smack in the middle of 0 and 100. To make it easy for you to remember how to deal with logarithmic diagrams, pause here and try to write down an equation or an explanation of why you in a linear diagram uh, find 50 right in the middle of 0 and 100. If this seems trivial to you, just bear with me because it will pay off in the end. Okay, the way I would explain this is that in a linear diagram, the distance between two values is simply proportional to the difference of their values. Thus, the distance between 50 and 0 is 50 minus 0 equals 50 in some unit. The distance between 100 and 0 is 100 minus 0, so 100 in the same unit. Consequently, the point where you find 50 is 50 divided by 100, 0 0.5, which is 50% of the way between 0 and 100. Note that the same is perhaps obviously true for 40 and 60. 50 minus 40 is 10, 60 minus 40 is 20, thus 50 is 10 divided by 20, 0.5, or 50% of the way from 40 to 60. So how deal with a logarithmic diagram? Well, on my left here I have a linear diagram. The distance between 10 and 20 is the same as the distance between 110 and 120, and the same as the distance between 440 and 450, and so on. In a logarithmic diagram, that is not the case. Before we go any further, there are different ways to denote logarithms, and I will use LG to denote the logarithm base 10. If you want to know more details of notation and different logarithms, how to change base, and so on, make sure to watch to the end of this video. In a logarithm with base 10, which is a base often used in diagrams, the distance between 10 and 100 is the same as between 100 and 1000, and the same as between 0.01 and 0.1. This means that there is no zero on the logarithmic scale, and no negative numbers. If we want to transform this linear scale to logarithmic scale, while keeping 50 in the middle, we need to compress everything above 50 and expand everything below 50. First, however, we need to get rid of this zero here. In our first attempt, let's shift the linear scale such that it starts with a value 1 rather than 0. We then compress everything above 50 and expand everything below 50, slowly turning this into a logarithmic scale. We ended up with the scale going from 1 to around 2,900. So why is 50 in the middle here? Well, that's because the distance between values is proportional to the difference of the logarithm of these values. So log 10 of 50 minus log 10 of 1 is proportional to the distance between 50 and 1, while log 10 of 2,900 minus log 10 of 1 is proportional to the distance between 1 and 2900. If we divide these two differences, we get approximately 50%. So hence, 50 is in the middle of 1 and 2900. Let's make a second attempt. Uh, let's now shift the linear scale uh, such that it starts with the value 0 0.1 instead, and transform once again into a logarithmic scale. Now we get that 50 is in the middle of 0 0.1 and approximately 25,400. And if we do the same kind of calculation, we see why that is. So, how do you find, for example, 3.14 in a logarithmic diagram with base 10? My recommendation is that you first uh, look for the closest smaller, smaller integer power of 10 to compare with. In our case, we have 3.14, and 10 to the power of 0 is 1, so that's the closest smaller integer power of 10. 
Uh, and the closest larger, that's 10 times larger, so that's uh, 10 to the power 1, 10. So now we have 1, we have 3.14, and then we have 10. Then you do exactly as we did before. Take the difference between the log 10 of 3.14 and log 10 of 1, and divide that with the difference between log 10 of 10 and log 10 of 1. And we get 49.7%. So 3.14 is almost in the middle of 1 and 10. Now, try to do uh, two examples yourself. Where is 31.4 and where is 628 in a logarithmic diagram? Thirty-one point four is forty-nine point seven percent of the distance from ten to a hundred, and six hundred twenty-eight is seventy-nine point eight percent of the distance from a hundred to a thousand. Let's make some slightly more advanced comments here. When you did the calculations, did you calculate the intermediate results? For example, log ten of thirty-one point four minus a log ten of ten. If you did that you might have noticed that you got 0 0.497, which is the exact same result as you got uh, as the final result. Why is that? Well, if you use the method I recommend, you always divide with log 10 of 10, which is exactly one. This is because you, uh, you divide with log 10 of 10 to the power of some n plus one, uh, minus log 10 of 10 to the power of n which is log 10 of 10, which equals 1. OK, but what if you don't have log 10 on your calculator, but you do have the natural logarithm ln? Let's try that and take ln of 31.4 minus ln of 10 and divide that with ln of 100 minus ln of 10. You still get the same result, 49.7%. Why is that? Well, to understand that, we need to take a closer look at what a logarithm is and how you can change the base of a logarithm. If a to the power of y equals x, then by definition the logarithm base a of x equals y. Let us now introduce the logarithm with base b and take the logarithm of both sides. The way logarithm works, if you take the logarithm of a to the power of y, that is the same as multiplying y with the logarithm of a. But now we have two ways to express our variable y, so let us solve for y and put them equal to each other. We get that the logarithm base a of x equals the logarithm base b of x divided with logarithm base b of a. So we have a way to shift from one to the other. So if we take the log base a of a value x1, and divide that with log base a of x2. We must then get the same result as when dividing log base b of x1 with log base b of x2. By the way, regarding the results we got for 31.4 and 628, note that 10 to the power of 0 0.497 is 3.14, and 10 to the power of 0 0.798 is 6.28. Finally, as you might have noticed, I've used the letters LG to denote the logarithm base 10. Unfortunately, the symbol log LOG is used in some programming languages and uh, some spreadsheet programs to denote the logarithm base 10. And in others, uh, LOG log denotes a natural logarithm, that is the logarithm with base E, uh, that is E equals 2.78718 to eight something something. So the IC80000 standard attempts to clear up this mess and states that you should use ln for the natural logarithm and lg for the logarithm base 10. The symbol log, uh, the standard says, should never be used without explicitly specifying the base. The problem, however, is that not many programming languages or spreadsheet programs actually follow the IC80000 standard. So the confusion remains.